I'm Trinity Whiteside, and I'm tuned in to Baller Alert. What's up? It's Brian Jordan Jr., and you're tuned in to Baller Alert. Yo, this is Anthony Dalton II, and you are tuned in to Baller Alert. walking the BEC Hip Hop Awards carpet, first of all, and you guys look fabulous. You're welcome. What is it like being here, being that you are one, on one of the major shows on BEC? It's surreal, you know. I've dreamt about walking carpets and being at events like this, and it, it's, it's black, so it means something more. It's black entertainment television. I grew up with BET. Um, I saw the first BET Hip Hop Awards, and now I'm here, so it's very, very surreal. 2006? Yes. Wow, I was in elementary school for the first <laughs> BET Hip Hop Awards, so I'm so excited to be here, but if you, you ask me how it feels, I kind of feel like an imposter. I was telling I don't think my booty big enough to be on the hip hop red carpet, but I will say it's, it's beautiful to be here, to experience it in this capacity is just beyond, like truly, truly beyond. I'm just grateful and ready to turn up and eat, I'm hungry. <laughs> um, for me, it kind of puts things into perspective of how blessed I truly am to be here among all the, you know, talent and excellence here tonight. Truly is a blessing. Yeah. That it is indeed. Now, hip hop turns 50 next year. I know. When did you all fall in love with hip hop? LL Cool J, my radio. My, I got in trouble, I said my first curse word, and my sister recorded it and sent it to my mom. I love it. And I was mad, and it was the LL Cool J song. And I was like, oh! But that's when I fell in love with it, the energy of it, the spirit of it, and just the culture of it. Why did you do that, sis? Hey, what, what happened? What did you miss? Okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I feel like I was born into hip hop. I feel like black people are born, and we are hip hop. It's our culture, right? I'm from New Orleans, so. The beat is in the street for us, and so I just remember it being a young child and uh, listening to Boosie. We gotta talk about Boosie, we gotta talk about Wayne Weezy, we gotta talk about, you know, the New Orleans legends, C Murder, Master P. You know, I don't remember there was, I don't remember a time where there wasn't hip hop, so we all hip hop. Yeah. And anybody who tries to steal it, because I know it didn't got mainstream, you know, and, and pop. It ain't pop, it's hip hop. Motherfuckers. <laughs> no, um, I don't think I can actually pinpoint a specific time because I feel like it's always been a part of my life. Hip hop has definitely been the soundtrack to my life from a child to present time. Um, I've enjoyed watching it evolve um, from what it used to be to what it is now. Um, I can't imagine my life without it. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much. I